Welcome back to another episode of Lemon Football, and today I'm going to show you guys how to properly uh, take the decals off your helmet as well as clean all the uh, little bits of crap and crud on your helmet, and then I'll show you later how to re decal your helmet. So, to start off, all you want to do, of course, is to take an X Acto knife just because they're a nice, small, easy blade to work with, and take off the decals. Uh, so that's the original color till now, so you can obviously tell how it's definitely old. And just, it should be easiest to come off. Okay. And now if you're gonna replace the decals and clean it, always remember to take the decals off first. Because you don't want to miss any little bit if you accidentally do the uh, clean first. So if you know you're gonna re decal it, then just make sure to take the decals off first. I just want to say that uh, everything I'm doing here, I didn't come up with all these methods. Uh, these are all done by, I was taught these by a guy on YouTube called I Know Football. And yeah, so I don't want to take credit for anything like that. So uh, now that you have all your decals off, also remember to take your visor off a few of one of those like I do. That's what I did. So take, you have a little thing with uh, warm water, or you just use a sink. And just use a sponge or a paper towel, anything like that. And just the point of this is just to get the helmet wet and get off any initial dirt you may have. And you can get off some of the stuff. Okay. Now that you have that done, just take your soap, uh, any hand soap, any dish soap, anything like that. I just have some Dawn. Pour it in your little thing of warm water. And swish that around a bit. Try and get those bubbles activating. When you do that, you just take it and start to try and scrub off all the stuff. Now, also remember that you never want to use the abrasive end of a sponge if you're using a sponge like I am just because that could damage the helmet and you don't want to do that this is only about cleaning you don't want to sand it at all okay so I've used the uh, what it's called soap and water to get off a lot of it as you can see it definitely did get a lot of it off now one thing that I definitely did find helpful, I was actually wrong, if you have uh, a sponge it, with a uh, surface like this, it actually helps a lot. I'm surprised how much it helps and uh, the only downside is it can get, I don't know where any is, I think I already took some of it off again, but along here where you do have glue, some of uh, that stuff can come off. And so now the next step is just take a paper towel, dry it off again. Nice and dry. And you take this stuff. Now this stuff is called Goo Gone. The point of that is just to get off all the extra grime and shit like that. So what I like to use is I take these little makeup pads and then I I put it on here, just a little, just like that, that sink in a little bit, and then you just start to buff out all the little imperfections, that's like called the glue, and all that kind of stuff. Now, again, uh, when Lyman Football did this, he definitely had an easier time than me. Just because he's doing it as a DB, where I'm doing it as a lens, so he, I have definitely a lot more marks to do with my helmet than he did, which is why his will always be a little cleaner. And so, let's keep doing that. 
as you can see I'm already getting this side pretty good looking and so I'll check back in with you guys when I've done that okay okay so I uh, just finished using the Gugon and now it's super slippery on the top and really greasy so then again get some paper towel a little bit of water and just again re-wipe it down for a final cleaning okay. that. as you can definitely tell I don't know how it comes across in the video some of the stuff I will never be able to get off just because of hard hits to the head that kind of stuff so I'll take that and this definitely looks a little orange on here just so you can see that some of it does get left on by that but that goo on I strongly recommend picking it up it works wonders on your helmet and really anything else that's really useful around the house so why not get it and this this bottle right here was seven dollars at Home Depot or Canadian Tire for you Americans, they sell it at Home Hardware. If that's American, I'm not sure what they do. I know Walgreens has it as well. So, go to any of those places, pick it up. Leonard Drugs, they'd have it. It's really good stuff. So, there you have that. Nice and clean. Really the only way to tell is just with a field test, kind of. Still, my hands are kind of greasy, so I can't quite tell how old it is, but. Definitely feels good. So uh, I'm not going to put the decals on this video just because you don't really need to see me do that. It's pretty basic. I already have the lines here. Just follow that. But this main video was just show you how to clean your helmet. And that's what we did. So there it is. Uh, as clean as I'm going to get it. You can still see where I had the things before. But again, this helmet's four years old. So there's going to be a little wear and tear and dirt on it. So thanks. All right, now, I didn't think I was going to film this because I wasn't quite sure I was able to do this, but now that I just have it in my sink, it's a little easier to see. So uh, the last thing I'm going to do to get rid of the yellowing on the helmet is I made a paste out of baking soda and water and just to get a nice thick paste. And then all I did was apply the paste to it and you let it sit for around a half an hour. And then after that, I'll come back and see you guys and see how well it whitened. So, uh... Yeah, so uh, it looks pretty clean on the helmet now that I'm done, and I let it sit for 10 minutes, and then I just rinsed it off, dried it off, and it definitely looks better now, but still not a massive difference. It looks really white on the camera, but in person you can definitely see where these lines are, so you can get that focused. So you can see that line. You can see that line right yeah you can so you can see that yellow line right in the middle so you can still see where all the imperfections are but uh, I'm gonna keep looking for ways to do this and then uh, I might do an update video